Hey guys, it's Stephen here. Manchester City have just beat Yokohama 3-1 in the final pre-season game of the tour. And it was great fun as well. Loads of talking points, loads to discuss. But before I go too far as ever, I want to say thank you to OneFootball for supporting this channel. OneFootball are sponsoring me as ever and they're absolutely brilliant. So go and download the app and the link in the description below for your daily dose of Manchester City news, your daily dose of transfer goodness and all that kind of stuff. And when the season gets going, it's genuinely my favourite app for the stats and all the info that it gives you. So what are you waiting for? Link in the description click it download it do yourself a favor it's absolutely free as well but today i also want to talk about um my latest patron bram Hollyoke, which has got an incredible name bram Hollyoke. bram you sound like you're out of, um like some tv show like game of thrones thank you for supporting the channel patreon.com forward slash esteem company if you want to get involved too thank you for all for watching supporting subscribing all that kind of stuff as well i appreciate you all loads but the game today um it was good fun wasn't it firstly what i say how good are they yokohama is so so fun to watch they created so many chances and they're probably in the end a little bit harsh to get beaten 3-1 uh, they actually outpassed manchester city for large parts of the game at one point i'm not sure how we finished but they had more possession than manchester city which is this is a rarity often the teams genuinely outpass a Guardiola side. Guardiola as well said in the in the like press conference that he was expecting to see something like this and they'd be the, one of the toughest tests that we had so far. And it genuinely proved that way. I know we won 3-1. I know the Wolves game was hard, but they cut through us, honestly, like a, a hot knife through butter. It was genuinely easy for them at times to create chances. We didn't say much about our defence, admittedly. But I was so impressed with the way they kept the ball, the way they recycled possession, how quick their keeper was off the line. Honestly, lightning quick, genuinely out like a flash. The amount of times we got him behind, but he was like 50 yards off his line or whatever, just darting out stupidly quick. Well, probably not 50, like 30 or whatever. But it was honestly impressive stuff from them. Loads of skill, uh, loads of quick one-touch passing, loads of creativity, a genuinely very exciting team. And this was a real test. And we also uh, took it very seriously well. I think we saw a team that could be starting the season potentially. We went for a very strong team, Claudio, Claudio Bravo in goal. Obviously, it'll probably be Edison, you know, but for now, Claudio Bravo, who was brilliant, by the way, we'll get on to him in a bit. We had Kyle Walker at right back, Stones, Laporte, and then Zinchenko with Rodri behind, Kevin De Bruyne, um, David Silva, then Sterling through the middle, Sane, and Bernardo. Now, obviously, the likes of Aguero could come in, and maybe Fernandinho as well. Um, but I reckon it could be that they probably start the season on the bench, given the lack of games and their age and all that kind of stuff, and post Copper America and whatever. I might be wrong with that, but I wouldn't be surprised if you see something like this. Sterling has played through the middle pretty much every single game so far and been very good there. And it's obviously something that Guardiola has been thinking about. So we got to see. Uh, well, an indication of the season and it was a really good game in the first half uh, it was about the Kevin De Bruyne show like he was just playing wonderful wonderful ball after wonderful ball so many perfectly weighted passes that broke down their defence the final ball was a bit rusty for some others around him but eventually uh, we got the goal uh, it was an uh, incredible move as well Bravo with a, a diagonal pass over the top Bernardo cut inside played it to De Bruyne he just stepped inside and walloped it harder than he, uh, he was left foot than I can do with my right foot it was an absolute rocket uh, and a wonderful goal. Um, it was uh, kind of deserved at that point, I would say, as well. Though they quickly equalised uh, one all after an astonishing double save from Claudio Bravo. I felt a little bit bad for him there. They cut through us uh, far too easily. Um, it was a bit too easy in between Laporte and Zinchenko, and the midfield was non-existent. Uh, basically, uh, defenders like Laporte and Zinchenko kind of bypassed too easily. Stones played them all inside. Uh, Walker a little bit lapsed. Rodri got behind, got, got behind Rodri too easily. It basically was just very poor defensively. Two great saves from Bravo, but the, return, the third one, he couldn't keep out. Pep wasn't happy about it as well. He was kind of spotted, ranting away at Kyle Walker. Um... Probably fairly so. Eventually, though, we did get back in their head after a few moments of, like, City had a bit of possession, a couple of half chances. But once again, it was KDB being phenomenal. Just uh, incredible, uh, like, outside of his right boot pass around the defence. Sterling through and goal. And it's the kind of chance Sterling used to just kind of basically screw up when he had loads of time to think about. Honestly, he paced in behind, um, but he put, finished it perfectly. A really composed, uh, cool finish. Great going forward. We were defensively we were pretty poor. Second half, no changes at half time, which once again, I think was telling obviously a bunch of senior players that really needed to get um get their fitness up having said that we were still poor defensively at one point they had five players in their area uh create a chance against like two of ours defensively were absolutely nowhere uh, it was they did make me think like we'll be we trying something different because kyle walker was just nowhere to be seen but then like minutes later he was incredibly far forward uh creating chances we got a third goal which was ruled out walker like as high as you've ever seen him in terms of the pitch uh perfect little pullback for sterling and a great finish unfortunately uh, it was ruled out but it made me think maybe he's been told to push a little bit forward 
going forward. That, anyway, then the changes started to rain in. Gundogan and Foden came on. Sarni came off. Silver off. Not much happened, really. It was just kind of like the game meandered a little bit. More substitutes. Uh, Angelino and the major Danilo. Sterling was given the armband. Uh, Demetri did pretty well when he came on. Uh, he made a good, uh, he forced a good save of Bernardo Freedom. Then he won the ball back, bundled into the area. Could have had a penalty. He was dragged back, and eventually, um, he got the third goal. It came from a great Angelino turn. Like uh, he turned his full back, turned turned his marker. Sorry, burst forward, and the ball eventually found its way uh, to Bernabe, and he beat his man really well. And then Bernabe, uh, uh, Bernabe crossed it. Sorry, uh, to Demetri who bundled it home, and just about. We probably just about deserved it, though it felt a little bit harsh. Uh, Bravo just kind of stopped it from being uh, to all, only minutes early with an astonishing save down to his right. Individually, um, we'll go on to the players. Uh, the, is it youngsters I'm going to do first? Let me just double check, I can't remember. It is, that's what the thing says at the bottom. Youngsters first there. There wasn't many, unfortunately. This wasn't the game where we got to see most of the academy players come on. I think Guardiola very much wanted to see how the senior players got on today. Uh, so he stuck to some of the, the, basically, the more senior players. We saw a couple come in eventually. Paveda got on. Yeah, didn't really have anything to do, unfortunately, for him. Uh, Bernabe came on, looked once again lively. Only had a few touches of the ball, but he got an assist uh, with a direct run. Uh, created the goal. I really like Bernabe. Really intelligent little player. And I think Guardiola has a thing for him, and rightfully so. He's just got a bit of magic in his boots which is really exciting uh and the major i thought uh, had a really good showing actually he, he, you know he got his goal he put himself about physically he was strong he won the ball back uh, could have had a penalty as well um the goal wasn't exactly a vintage goal it kind of just bounced off him but you've got to be there um it was a very good center forward display even though he's only on the pitch for like you know 15 minutes in general Foden, i'm gonna put um no nah, he's more of a senior player really so i won't really count him but other than that there was no one else to come on i don't think in the, in the kind of uh, academy role uh, howard bellis didn't get on tommy doyle no better Knight, uh, no uh, Alex Garcia, none of those players unfortunately got on the pitch because this was very much about the senior players which we'll get on to, Bravo in goal I thought he was absolutely excellent genuinely a phenomenal display from Bravo with some very good saves some brilliant distribution uh, really fast off his line, like honestly one of his best performances in Man City City shirt in a friendly um, if that's the number two for this season I'm very comfortable with that, it was his reflexes and his quick reactions, he felt like in the first season when he was at Man City, which is a long time ago now to be fair to him, everything, every shot went in uh, and we didn't get that impression at all uh, in this game, and he has been getting better it was a shame about last season obviously, but the season before like, it was very good as well um, yeah, just a really impressive display defensively um, the fullbacks in general, Zinchenko and Walker, were just, both of them were just so, so poor. I can't really pretend um, they weren't. Like, I think defensively, we were all over the show. We were like, you know, half a yard off everything, a little bit slow to everything. Their movement, they got in behind us so many times. Walker was constantly one twoed around, which was, you know, suggests a little lack of support defensively from maybe Bernardo not getting back enough and covering with him. And obviously, Rod also, Rodri was a little bit slow to kind of help cover the fullbacks as well. But Walker got forward very well, which suggests maybe a slight new role because he was very far forward at times, which is un unlike Walker, what we've seen previously. Um, Zinchenko, he was caught a lot, uh, a little bit slow to the ball. Uh, in the same way that Angelino has been in preseason, he was caught to the ball quite a bit. Which has happened. I'm hoping it's just a preseason thing, and their energy just kind of showed up, our lack of fitness and stuff. Uh, there was Stones and Laporte. Stones had some good solid defending at times, and also uh, they were both caught ball watching a few times as well. Some good distribution from the pair of them, though. Not a vintage performance for any of the defenders really, but it'll have to improve, and I'm sure it'll be 30 percent better come the start of the season. Um, Rodri. Uh, it's very mixed game. I thought defensively he was a little slow to react often. He's obviously still trying to learn where to be in the system. But at times going forward is not what I was expecting at all. He was almost like a very, very good deep line playmaker. It's like De Bruyne was sat at number six. The way he releases the ball so quickly to De Bruyne and feeds him, he starts so many counter-attacks. I know he was good at passing, but I did not expect him to be this good at giving the ball and moving it forward and starting breaks because he was genuinely excellent. His weight of passing is what people think Jorginho should be, in my opinion. He's better at passing than him. I think he's actually better at moving the ball forward quicker than Gundogan is as well in that role and also um, uh, the likes of Fernandino. like Fernandino is obviously better defensively in terms of the current system I would say uh, but he cannot move the ball as quickly as, George, uh, as as Rodri can which is really really impressive stuff he has got a way to go though in terms of receiving the ball like uh, sorry spotting the danger and all that I'm sure he'll get there eventually but I actually think maybe he might even compliment every now and then playing alongside Fernandinho um, ahead of him David Silva he was pretty poor sadly uh, like only a 67% pass completion rate in that first star way of his pass was totally off hopefully uh it's just a kind of preseason thing and it isn't kind of a revert to form of last season because i thought in the first preseason game it was really good de bruyne just 
phenomenal. Genuinely, absolutely brilliant. Um, some of the passes he played were jaw-droppingly brilliant. I think we forgot last season because we, we were so brilliant just how good Kevin De Bruyne is. He's like a, the brightest star in the whole galaxy following at Manchester City. He's just so, so good. The way he was passes, when he gets his head down as well, drives through midfield. He's actually unstoppable. Uh, he's just brilliant. He's going to star big time. Uh, Gundogan came on. He, had a, he, didn't, he was all right. Gundogan didn't have loads to do. He kind of slotted about past it with no real uh, moment. He kind of got like the pre-assist, uh, but passing it to Bernabe for the third goal, who then obviously did the hard work. Uh, who else? Sane. He wasn't good. I don't think he was good, sadly. Um, he had a couple of moments where, you know, like around the half an hour mark where he did a couple of dribbles, which are pure Leroy Sane. Very good at that. But there was bits where he just walked slowly everywhere like that. Like Zinchenko was bombing forward, the team was bombing forward, and he was just ambling around in the middle of the pitch, which is just worrying because he didn't look happy. I know he's always looked a little bit kind of laid back, but especially so today, and he was frustrating to watch. Um, fingers crossed, it's just one of those days, but he's so inconsistent, he needs to be better. Uh, he needs to be more on it. He needs to be more alert at times because we know how good he could be. Uh, Sterling, I thought, was excellent. Um, he could have had two goals. He was lucky not to have another one. Uh, but he's finished, and he's in running behind. Uh, his work rate, I really love his movement. One thing we know about Sterling is he's very intelligent, and he reads the game so well, and he makes trouble for uh, defenders, and he was excellent today. A really impressive role, and one, one that I think we'll see him do plenty of this season. I think he will play as a striker. I think his finishing is improving. I think his intelligence, his work rate, and his pace makes him very, very threatening. Uh, Bernardo, a good, solid game. Obviously got an assist for De Bruyne. Um, not at his scintillating best we didn't see like pure Bernardo and we've not seen pure Bernardo yet in preseason either yet I don't think um, but no worries there or no concerns other than that uh, who came on Danilo nothing really to say I'd be lying if there was uh, Angelino Angelino had a good cameo I thought um, he couldn't stop one cross but then no one stopped to cross all day unfortunately but that one moment showed good he is going forward when he turned the defender and basically started the third goal with a lovely little burst forward a couple of burst forwards as well um, he, um, it's good to see that he's kind of passing things gone anyway where he's a bit rusty with his passing at the very least Foden came on not much you could say about him really you know a nice little cross at one point D didn't really get involved the game was drifting at that point uh, Danilo yeah I mentioned him already I think in general um, there wasn't loads more to say other than that his game just kind of drifted but in general it was a good game of football a really good workout Yokohama were very excited to watch some good high energy football a real test for the uh, city and now obviously next week we've got um, uh, this is the last game so we've got the Community Shield I'm away in Spain on holiday at a mate's wedding so hopefully I'll be able to find somewhere in the sun to be able to watch that but I enjoyed that let me know in the comments what you made of that game Really good test, loads to work on defensively were shocking at times, there's no point denying that. But going forward, obviously loads of signs of encouragement there, some individual displays that were really worth taking note of. Uh, guys, let me know, as ever, what you thought of the game, what did you learn from the game. Subscribe if you're new to this channel, if you've not subscribed already, why the hell not? Just hit that subscribe button. Uh, I've got another video coming up later on today or maybe tomorrow with a Chelsea fan. If you've not already, check out the video of the United fan. I'm doing a series where I review... Uh, just look at the perspective from our rivals this season, just because it's good to get that ahead of the season. Anyway, guys, for now, I'm going to go chill in a bit.